Miniature machine tools made for hobbyists are generally simplified versions of their larger brothers, and they lack the precision of expensive specialized miniature machines like these watchmaker lathes. So in order to make them more useful, it's frequently necessary to adapt them to our individual needs. Sometimes these modifications can be pretty simple, like adding a dial indicator to this Unimat SL head that I use for a mill. Welcome to Scale Model Workshop. In this video, I want to share how I added the functionality of direct readout to my miniature lathe. The basic design of most milling heads makes it fairly simple to mount a dial indicator in a convenient location. However, the small size and design of miniature lathes makes this much more difficult. Typically, most miniature hobby lathes aren't equipped with power feeds or come set up for cutting threads. So the movement of the carriage is simplified and done manually with just two feed screws. Size, cost, and lack of precision usually means that the controls have rudimentary scales rather than a vernier scale. And a fair amount of inherent backlash makes operator skill and technique more important. For years I settled for my simple modification of adding an adjustable scale to the control wheels, but I was still left with keeping track of revolutions and guesstimations. What I wanted was some sort of setup that would give me direct readout when I wanted it, and would be out of the way when I didn't need it. I wanted to use dial indicators, and since I used two lathes, I would like to have the functionality on both machines. My solution was inspired by one of my calipers that's equipped with a thumb screw adjustment and a reasonably priced carriage assembly that showed up on eBay one day. What I came up with was a trolley that could be attached to the carriage and give me readouts for the cross feed and longitudinal feed. I constructed the trolley by cutting off the carriage lock removing the lead screw and drilling out the hole to accept the shank of a dial indicator that measures the cross feed. The lead screw was shortened and run in to form the adjustable stop. The second dial indicator was mounted to the back of the trolley with a brass plate. A simple brass rod provides a solid link between the two. To mount the trolley, I simply line up the cross feeds and secure the linking rod. I use a faceplate mounted to the tailstock as a stop for the longitudinal dial indicator. The unit can be easily installed on either lathe whenever I need it. For those hobbyists that use miniature machine tools, I hope this video has given you a few ideas for adapting your own machines for your specific needs. So long for now, and I'll see you next time.